Sometimes a great MMORPG is released poorly or received poorly and doesn't make it and gets shut down. Their worlds are then lost and oftentimes forgotten. Some of these on the list today are getting a second shot with private servers, but others very well may be gone forever. Of course, there are many MMORPGs that have been lost to the sands of time, but I'm going to be focusing on these five MMOs, but be sure to drop me a comment if there's an MMO that you think should be on the list or an MMORPG that you once loved and you think it deserves a second chance. And be sure to hit that like button like it owes you money and please subscribe for more RPG and MMORPG content. First up, number one, Vanguard Saga of Heroes. Vanguard Saga of Heroes was the next big MMO on the hills of EverQuest by the main visionary behind EverQuest. Brad McQuaid's next MMORPG was promising a real virtual world for you to explore and get lost in for decades of your life with incredible features. It released in 2007 and was set in a fantastical world filled with magic and mythical creatures. It was up to the players to uncover its mysteries through exploration and by conquering the huge, sprawling dungeons littered across its open world. There were more classes than you could shake a stick at and this MMO was one I was insanely hyped for back then. But then it released early due to their publisher demanding it needed to start turning profits right away and boy was it not ready for release yet. The bad launch caused Vanguard Saga of Heroes to bleed players until the world was empty. Although Vanguard Saga of Heroes was finally fixed, it was too late and it shut down in 2014. For many of us, it is a beloved classic and remembered for its innovative gameplay and rich world building. Vanguard Saga of Heroes thankfully was brought back by a wonderful team on a private server and is playable today with content up into the level 30s last I played. So if this is one you wish you could go back and re-experience, you can. I have a link in the description if you want to check out Vanguard today. And of course, after the lessons from Vanguard, Brad McQuaid went on to form and set the vision for Pantheon Rise of the Fallen, which is currently in development and recently reached a major milestone. Monthly testing as they ramp up to an alpha release of their MMO that is going to be everything we thought Vanguard would be and more. Brad McQuaid has since passed away and the world lost a true visionary and entrepreneur in the MMORPG genre. You will be missed, Brad. Number two, EverQuest Online Adventures. EverQuest Online Adventures or EQOA was released for the PlayStation 2 back in 2003 and took place in the same Norath but a different time period known already from the EverQuest brand on PC. This was a chance for console players to experience the rich multiplayer aspects of MMORPGs for the first time and it was well loved by its community that played it. Players created characters and embarked on grand adventures, completing quests, forming groups with other players all over the world and even engaging in player versus player combat. They could auction their items in the game and EverQuest Online Adventures sold really well and had a very dedicated player base. However, the servers were shut down in 2012 and since there was never a PC port, EverQuest Online Adventures has been lost to the sands of time. A version of Norath we can no longer experience in its fullness. The most amazing feature about EverQuest Online Adventures to me was that the world was seamless, whereas EverQuest on PC was and still is a zone-based game. EverQuest Online Adventures offered a world with no zones to explore Norath like an open world experience and all of that on the PlayStation 2. It truly was a marvel of its time. Thankfully, there's also a team working on an EverQuest Online Adventures private server for PC, so it is possible that one day we could return or experience this side of Norath. Drop an F in the comments for EverQuest Online Adventures and let me know if you played it. Number three, Asheron's Call. Asheron's Call was released in 1999, the same year the EverQuest was released and by Turbine Entertainment and it took players to the fantasy world of Dareth. Many players saw this world as the first truly dynamic 3D world they had ever experienced online with changing events, new content and monthly updates. It featured a wide range of races and classes and was one of the few MMORPGs at the time to have an extensive player housing system so that players could acquire and decorate their own virtual homes in the MMO. Much like EverQuest, Asheron's Call had 
had a very strong community and players formed groups and alliances and participated in events together. But unfortunately for Asheron's Call, its popularity waned and the game servers were eventually shut down in 2017. Two of the developers went on, however, to make Project Gorgon, which many of the old Asheron's Call players had found as their new home. I played and experienced Project Gorgon for several weeks last year and I found it very enjoyable. Also very quirky, but very good. So if you loved Asheron's Call back in the day, I highly recommend giving Project Gorgon a chance. Number 4, Tabula Rasa. Tabula Rasa was Richard Garriott's new MMO and it released in 2007. He had made Ultima Online 2 very much success and he wanted to really innovate with his next release. Not only was it science fiction in its universe, but also it had a real-time combat system. Many say that it was too far ahead of its time. It was praised for it, but perhaps most people's internet connection at the time wasn't really great and the technology really was wasn't all the way there for the kind of combat system it was going for, but players that did play it seemed to enjoy it quite a bit, and it was based around fighting off an alien invasion. It also allowed players' choices to affect the game's story and had a very innovative character progression system. It released to great reviews, but it never did attract a large player base, and the servers were shut down in 2009, making this the most short-lived MMO on the list. Number 5, Wildstar. Wildstar was released in 2014 and was meant to be a kind of hardcore MMO. It featured fast-paced action combat, player housing, and it was well received by critics and players for its release. It was known for its distinct art style and humor. At first, things looked really up for Wildstar. It was attracting a lot of new players, it released to great sales, but it struggled to retain its player base, and the servers were eventually shut down in 2018. Wildstar still gets brought up a lot on the channel, in my comments, etc., and I did find out there is a private server in the works, but it hasn't reached a point yet of it feeling like a playable experience just yet. Many blame the community for running people off with its hardcore nature. Apparently, many players would tell people to get good or go play World of Warcraft, and from the looks of it, it appears that a lot of those people took the advice and went and played World of Warcraft instead. And Wildstar is no longer with us. Real quick though, before we continue, let's hear from the members of Napalm, and then we'll be back for more. So don't go anywhere. Real quick, I want to give a shout out to the members of Napalm. They have strapped on their armor and are casting the spells of awesome by supporting this channel and keeping me full time every month. Thank you so very much. And I think you are interested in becoming a member. You can do so by clicking join down below this video and pick a level that is right for you. And I would like to give a very special thank you to the Lords of Napalm. Bounty Code. Jared Woodhouse, Dynlos, Farthest Reach, Sparrow, Christopher Hensel, Random Rob, Zelic Lid, Rotten Yell Mom, Vander, Gallerang Moonsong, What's the Takeaway, Trips, Daniel Cordley, Richard Glass, and Remy D. Thank you for your highest tier membership. These MMOs are loved by a large portion of the MMO crowd, and ones that I think definitely deserve a second chance, and I would be very excited to see a studio release them in one form or another. It is highly unlikely that we will ever see anything beyond private servers for any of these MMORPGs, and entire worlds being completely lost is a horrible thing, especially for all the people who were playing and invested in their worlds and their characters on an MMO that gets shut down, it's just downright devastating. But now, it is your turn to tell me what MMORPGs on this list you played and what you thought about them, or an MMO that wasn't on the list but you think it should be. I hope you enjoyed the video, and please hit that like button like it owes you money, and subscribe for more RPG and MMORPG content. And until next time, my friends, God bless, and happy gaming.